Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Fui solo a mí o a ustedes a mí lo sacó, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, no sé qué le pasó. Like, creo que hubo un bajón or something, but eh, se me apagó todo here. I'm sorry about that, but gracias por regresar. Thank you so much for, for like, coming back. Ya me echaron. No, no, please, come back. No, creo que fue un bajón de electricidad, you know, and uh, me saca a mí, lo saca a ustedes, too. All right, so, but gracias, guys. Gracias por incorporarse. Thank you for coming back. And I'm sorry about that uh, issue there. Okay, guys, estamos hablando un poquito de teléfonos, right? Eh, no sé si lograron terminar la descripción de sus teléfonos. Did you finish with that? Ya la tienen lista. Do you have it ready? ¿Saben las características de su teléfono? El peso, how big it is, the dimensions, the operating system y todo lo demás. ¿Cómo sintieron hablar de números? ¿Les costó? Was it kind of difficult? A little bit. Ok, ¿qué, qué les costó más? ¿Qué les costó más? Like, la parte de los números o la parte de dimensiones? What was the hardest part? ¿Les costó como leer números? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, I mean, it's important to know because podemos reforzar los números later on. Okay. So, ¿tiene las especificaciones de su teléfono? Do you have your phone? O el que quieren, you know, did you investigate it? Do you have it ready? Pueden buscarlo like in internet, you have uh, some characteristics, so you can use them as well. Okay, so imagine guys for a moment that I want to, I want to sell my phone, right? Imagínense que I need some money y pues quiero vender mi teléfono, right? I need to sell it. So, ¿cómo lo voy a vender? How am I going to sell my phone? First, voy a hablar de las características que tiene, right? So, puedo utilizar, como es uno, I'm going to use this, this right? Eh, puedo decir it is para describir cómo es, right? Y puedo utilizar it has para describir cuáles son las características o the camera has. Let me eh, talk a little bit about my phone y luego ustedes nos ayudan a describir el de ustedes, right? So, um, and this is, no lo van a ver. Okay, uh, this is my phone. So, it is a Samsung A72. And uh, it is 165 by 77 by 8 milli, uh, millimeters. Um, the, the color or it, its color, it, it is a black form. And uh, what else? What else is important? Let me check. Oh, the memory. It has uh, 128 gigabytes and 8 uh, gigabytes in RAM memory. The front camera is uh, 32 megapixels. And uh, that's it. It has a fast charging system and it has a fingerprint uh, reader. Um, those are like the basically the characteristics it has. It is a big phone, it is large, but it is not very heavy. The camera is good, I think, and the videos are really good as well. And that's it. 
Pero that is about my phone. Guys, ¿quién nos quiere contar de su teléfono? Who wants to tell us about the phone? Sí, sir, yo creo que ya está listo. So let's do it. I don't know. Um, my phone. But my phone is a uh, Xiaomi, Poco, X, X, Xtreme. Okay. And the dimensions is um, 165 by 3. Perdón, 165 uh, by 76 by 9, by nine millimeters. Or um, 2015 grams. Okay. The 2000. Ah, oh, no, perdón. Uh, 200, 215, ah, okay. 215 grams. I was like, ¿dónde consiguió este? Okay. Okay. This camera, um, front camera is 20 megapixels. Oh. The, um, the quiero ver la, la um, camera la this camera the back another, the back camera the back camera is 40, mm -hmm. 48 megapixels oh that's good plus uh, two megapixel plus two megapixel for profundity okay this battery is uh, 5160 milliampers Oh, okay. For your, uh, for your fast, for about um, 33 watts. Okay. Mm, this and this. Is, is it heavy? Mm, this heavy. Heavy, like the weight. The weight. Mm -hmm. Heavy. Es un teléfono pesado. Is it heavy? Mm, espérame que no me sale cuánto pesa. <laughs> <laughs> ok. I don't know, but mm, um, for, digamos, 300 grams. 300 grams. Ok, ok. I don't know how heavy this is. Ok, that was a really good description. Thank you so much. Very good job, Cesar. That was nice. Ok. I like that phone. So I think that Xiaomi is really good, I think. So I would like to have one of those as well. Okay, okay. Guys, eh, Cesar, seleccione alguien más. Select another person. Ay, no. Al azar, por un número. <laughs> Vaya, dígame uno del uno al cinco. From one to five. Um, four. Okay. So number four here is one, two, three, four. Ceci, you are the chosen one. <laughs> okay, Ceci, let's do it. Hello, Miss. Hello. I have all the descriptions of my cell phone. No, but Lydia, Miss, let's see if it's really quick. Yes, Google is not a thing. Ah, my phone is 203 grams. <laughs> so I was looking for the weight. Mm -hmm. okay. San Google. Eh, mi si San Google es una gran cosa. So. <laughs> no worries. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. O díganos el teléfono y le ayudamos a buscarle. No problem. O invéntese el teléfono no. que quiere. It's okay. Es un mono. Un mono. Oye, ¿qué alguien dijo teacher? Sí. Uh, Silvia, I'm sorry. Dígame. Es, puedo uh, 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 apoyar mientras la compañera busca con el mío. Oh, perfect, yes, please. Y Bye, también Ceci. comentarle it, que yes. en el WhatsApp hay compañeros que no lograron conectarse y yo les dije que lo hicieran nuevamente a través del link porque no sé, pero todos oh, se quedaron. Thank you, se acabó. Entonces, sí, teacher, nos desconectó a varios. A mí me desconectó. Yeah, I'm sorry. Lo que pasa es que me sacó a mí, en I believe. Por eso es que también a usted eh, los terminó sacando. No sé, I don't know what happened, but gracias, guys. Thank you so much for that. 
eh, bueno, algunas cosas las hacen en español y otras en inglés porque así las encontré, así que me bueno. ayuda. Say, yes, of course, yes, of course. So say it, give it to us, mm -hmm. and acá le ayudamos. Um, Xiaomi, Remy, eh, no, one hundred. Uh, Xiaomi, no, ah, no, sería Xiaomi, eh, eleven. Okay, so um, let me look for the information. Para decir peso. Weight. Weight. Mm -hmm. Weight 179 grams. Okay. Android 11. Snapdragon. Um, uh, six hundred. A, C, A, C, uh, RAM, cuatro, uh, four, six, gigabyte. Ahí es cuatro sextos. No sé cómo se dice. Oh, one, six. One, four, six. Um, cámara frontal, 50 MP, cámara rear, trasera. Um, eight MP. Uh, 30 MP battery, uh, 5,000, finish. Okay, okay, so milliampere mil per hour. Okay, thank you so much. Actually, that sounds yeah. right. Yeah, acá estaba revisando también like, some of the characteristics we have. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I think I was missing Ceci. No sé si ya está lista. I don't know if you're ready. Yes, miss. Okay, perfect. So we listen to you. Okay. Yes. A general in the core, a GS me, a Ay, solo que los números no me los puedo todos. 850. Ok, so, los 800 eh, se leen como 100. El primer número más la palabra 100. 100. Es 800. Yes, exactly. 800. Ahorita te quiero ver. Um, Four giga, GB, gigabytes, one gigabytes, and uh, Microsoft the car is not a two thirty two gigabytes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, how se dice? Quinientos doce megas RAM. Es, es la misma, el, lo mismo, decimos primero el número, eso sería 5 y luego decimos 100. Ok, 500 megabytes. 1 por procesor. Ok. Um, quiero ver. Eh, cámara e eh, megapíxeles. Eh, autofocus, eh, GPS, eh, guay, uh, GPS support, eh, digital compass, eh, quiero ver qué más. Um, voice memorial build in hands free. Eh, predictive text input input finish. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. That actually sounds great. And now, guys, vamos a revisar un poquito la parte de números. Eh, that I think you are doing amazing. Lo están haciendo super bien, but puede que algunos números may sound a little complicated, right? So, um, revisamos really quick eh, la teoría de cómo leer los números mucho más fáciles. So, hay un par de técnicas, right, that we are going to be using. Uh, first, guys, si el número es muy grande o ya tiene tres, tres dígitos, let's say I'm going to write it this one. 
El primero de la izquierda lo leemos como hundred. So take a look. Primero digo el número y luego digo hundred, right? So one hundred y luego el resto que serían los siguientes dos números. So one hundred, eleven. That's it. Eso es como una, una técnica para hacerlo mucho más rápido, right? Y que no se nos complique mucho. Because I know that los números tienen a ser a little complicated. But I hope this helps a little. So, one primero, luego hundred, y luego sigo con los siguientes dos, y estos van unidos. They go together. Uh, that is the idea. For example, take a look here. Eh, la mayoría de teléfonos now tiene como 250 y something eh, de memoria. Imagine that I got this number, right? Again, basado en esto, take a look. Primero tengo two, right? So two, luego hundred. Y luego agrego los siguientes dos números, but ellos no se van a separar. Ellos sí siguen juntitos. They go together. So 200. ¿Cómo leo 59, guys? How can I read this number? 59. There we go. So el 100 solo lo leo al inicio, just después del primer número. 100, 200. 111, 259. ¿Qué sucede si este número es mucho más grande? Por ejemplo, le hablamos de la batería. En las baterías ahora es, todos los teléfonos tienen carga rápida, etc. Y digamos que tiene, I don't know, 5,000 right, eh, miliamperes. ¿Cómo leo este número? How can I read this? Ok, revisemos una vez más. One, two, three. No hay nada en el hundred. Entonces, no necesito la palabra 100, pero este tiene cuatro dígitos, ya no tres. So, como son cuatro dígitos, ajá, ahora cambio la palabra. I'm going to change the word, pero no la, la idea, right? So, sigo todavía con five, pero ya no tengo 100. Ahora tengo 1,000. 1,000. Guys, repite conmigo. 1,000. No. Ta, thousand. thousand. So, hundred thousand. Oh, eso es todo. Five thousand. Porque no tengo más. I don't have more. Right? So, five thousand. Porque este representa a this number. ¿Qué sucede si fuera más de eso? Right? Por eh, ejemplo, tengo por acá. Eh, ¿Cuánto vale el nuevo teléfono, guys? How much is the new phone? Like the new iPhone. ¿Alguien tiene alguna idea? One thousand and four hundred. A thousand four hundred. This is the Samsung or the iPhone. iPhone. The iPhone. The iPhone. Okay. Pero hay uno más caro, right? There is one that is more expensive. The Samsung. Mm. No, no, no. Hay una marca nueva. There is another one que es para los gamers. Yeah. Alguien es gamer, no. Sí, en teoría. I don't remember, but it's a telephone europeo. It's a new European phone. And it's not a Samsung. It's not iPhone. It's no Huawei. I don't remember the marca or the system operativo. I can't remember. But it was very. Teacher, in one? my case, in my case, it's, the, it's um, Redmi GT 5G. It's a, a gamer's. How software. much is that? Uh, how much is that? Is it? Uh, ah, is 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 um five hundred? Oh, yeah, five hundred. Five hundred. See, it's it's a process. Is a or five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. No, five hundred. Oh. Ah, no es caro. It's not expensive. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a smartphone. It's a gamer. It's a Snapdragon 888 processor. 888. And the storage, and the storage is, is 12 giga, giga wow. of, of RAM with those, no, uh, 
256 gigabytes of storage. Okay, but 12 and, gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, and, that is and a lot. battery is uh, four four thousand. Okay. Uh, uh, five five hundred milliamperes and fast charger uh, sixty eight watts. That uh, is fast. If, yeah, is it full charges uh, thirty minutes. 30 minutes, oh my God. Yeah. Okay, that is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's the screen is, uh -huh. this screen is 5.43 uh, inch and, 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 and Super AMOLED screen at full HD plus. What is the name of the cell phone? It's Realme GT. Cinco G. Redmi GT five G. GT five G. GT five G. Realme ah Realme not Redmi. Oh. Realme Realme. Sataka. Okay. But this is a new one, right? Yeah. It's but there is an. The last it, year. Uh -huh. The last year. Is this Korean or something? Chinese, yeah. Okay, yeah, because they are the the Korean. They are super, you know, advancing technology. So that makes sense. Okay, okay. So, but five hundred dollars, I think it's not very expensive. A comparación con las computadoras de gamers que son super caras, like okay, that's not bad. So let's take a look. Thank you for the information, Jorge. That's actually very interesting. So for the gamers, now you know the font to buy. Now, coming back to number. Eh, so if you take a look, ese es el gran trick para leer los números. No nos cuesta, solo vamos a tener que seguir. If you take a look, tenemos here eh, these two things. So um, in this case, uh, como tenemos, eh, Mil, right? Comenzamos de, de ese pedazo. So, 1,000. Comenzamos de ese dígito. 1,000. Ahora, si tenemos 100, entonces 400. Y ahí termina el número. That's it, porque no tenemos nada más. And uh, so pretty much that is the idea, right? So, 1,000. And then we get to the 100 um, digit as well. So, Dudas, guys. I mean, eh, la parte de números es solamente cuestión de practicarla. It's just a matter of practice. But no sé si tienen dudas. Eh, how to read numbers? How to read this part? No, teacher. No doubts. No, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, guys. Very nice, because we have to still practice this. But antes de practicar, solamente eh, let me show you really quick eh, parte del tema que tenemos eh, to practice today as well and les decía hace un momento eh, this is my phone cuando vendemos cuando compramos right or cuando presentamos algo normalmente this is the way we do it so cuando yo tengo cerca algo eh, if you take a look i can say this is my dog this is my phone this is my computer this is my friend right I love him, it says here. So quick question, guys. How many how many dogs? How many dogs do you see in the picture? How many are there? Well, there well, is only one, right? Is it near yeah. or far? Está lejos o cerca? Near or yeah. far? Near. Exactly. No. It's near. So, utilizamos this cuando es uno y está cerca. This is my phone, this is my dog, this is my house, right? So, only one. Look at the following. Oh, what are you, what are you? Hold on, hold on. Okay. So, I got this one. That is my mom on the phone. She is worried. Okay. Now, the mother, is she near? 
Or is, is she far away? Según esa palabra, that is my mom on the phone. She is worried. ¿Está cerca o está lejos? Is she close or far away? Far away. Far away. Far away. Exactly. So take a look at this. This lo utilizo para cosas que están cerca. So puedo, todo lo que está en alrededor, I can say this. Porque es uno and they are close. That lo utilizo para algo que está lejos, una persona, un objeto, right? That is my mom and she is worried. So, ella. Eh, no es que la, lo utilice como un objeto, sino que that es para indicar que ella está lejos. That is my mom. Eh, puedo utilizarla también para hablar de cosas que ya pasaron. Lo utilizo bastante en pasado, too. Right? Como ese día, that day. Ese lugar, that place. Algo que ya está súper lejos de, de este momento, as well. Or take a look at the following. These are my friends. We always have fun together. Okay. How many friends do you see? Two. Three. Maybe two, maybe three. Okay. These are my friends. We always have fun together. And uh, are they near or are they far? Según near. esto, according to this one, these es para cosas o personas o objetos que estén cerca. Pero ya no es uno. Son varios, right? There are a couple of them. So, again. Let me go back. This es para uno y está cerca, right? That es para lejos, pero sigue siendo uno. These son varios, right? Three, four, five, pero están cerca. En el último, those stars are so bright. Look, okay. ¿Están cerca o están lejos? What about the stars? Far away. Far, Far away. away, están lejos, exactly. And those, more. porque son varias, yeah, more than one. So, we have all these words. Guys, repeat with me, please. This. This. This is my dog. This is my dog. That is my mom. That, that is my mom. mom. These are my friends. These, These are my friends. Good. Those stars are so bright. Those, Those stars are, are so bright. Very good. Okay. Now, lo voy a utilizar, obviously, right? I'm going to use the, these words para indicar si es uno, si son varios, depende cuántos yo quiera estar vendiendo o presentando, right? Para quienes hacen presentaciones en inglés, eh, depende mucho de how many we are talking about. So, take a look at this one. Eh, vamos a completar un par de ejercicios. Ya casi nos vamos, guys. So, this is going to be the last activity that we will be doing. Let me share my screen. And ustedes me ayudan con las respuestas. You help me with the answers de una sola vez. So, take a look at this exercise. It says, choose this, this, that, these, and those. So, ¿cuáles están cerca y cuáles están lejos? Well, to give you an idea, and I'm going to use this one here. One second. This is para cosas que están cerca. These is para cosas que están cerca también. So they are very close. That and those están lejos. They are really far away. So take a look at this one. Now, en cuestión de a cuántos eh, me estoy refiriendo, this se refiere a uno. That, ¿a cuántos se refiere that, guys? How many? A uno. Uno one. también, only one. It is, es más de uno. And those, uh -huh. ajá, es more than one, two. Pero, again, this Está cerca. And those es para cosas que están lejos, right? Probablemente acá sea un poco confuso el ejercicio because puede estar cerca o lejos, but take a look at this. It says, for example, the first one, look at newspaper. This newspaper. Oh, newspaper. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at this or these? These. These. Okay. Eh, solo una cosita. Cuando hablamos de pronunciación, esta es como una E. Esta es casi this. Y esta es these. Okay. So se pronuncian a little bit different. So guys, repitan conmigo. This. This. Como bien corto. Es una I, pero yes. cortita. These. These. Mm -hmm. So, look at this newspaper or look at these newspaper. ¿Cuál de las dos? This. It's like this, right? Look at this newspaper. Okay. No es una E, no es totalmente this, pero no es una E, no es this. Pero es como la mitad. Kind of the half of it. Okay. Our, the second are my grandparents. Those. Okay. Or these, or what do you think? Si están cerca, this. Ajá, bailemos la oración. Notes. Let's read it. Let's read the sentence y veamos quién está cerca, quién está lejos. And people over there are my friends' grandparents. This, this and those. Oh, okay. Ah, so these. Right? So, yeah. estos son mis abuelos. Yeah. These are my oh, grandparents. Yeah. Y oh. tenemos people over there, la gente de allá, right? So, utilizamos, creo que por ahí, oh. escuché, Carlos. Those, very good. Y aquellos, right? And those. And those people over there. I my friends, grandparents. Okay, very good. Now, guys, I'll give you like two or three minutes. No es necesario que los anoten, but intenten completarlos on your own y luego los revisamos together, right? So I'll give you like two minutes. Están bien fáciles y bien cortitos. They are very short. we got in the there we have the building so what do you have about this one building over there there is the uh, Chrysler building what do you have over here that that okay very good that building over there so what do you have in the next one is my mobile or mobile phone this is my mobile phone. Okay. Yes, this, this is my that. mobile phone. And 
that and much. that is your mobile phone and that is your mobile phone on the shelf over there okay very good very good what about this one photos here uh -huh. these photos here are much better than those those photos on the book okay excellent uh what's the great evening oh pero ya pasó está lejos that was a great evening, exactly. So, aunque no estamos hablando de objetos, pero hablamos de cuestiones en tiempo, podemos utilizar siempre that. Ah, esa fue una gran noche, right? That was a great evening. Next one are... Tengo la palabra here. Are, are, these, the, the, are these... Are these... Your pencils here. Very good. Very good. Next one, cola bottle. What do you have in here? That, that or this? That, that. That bottle, right? That bottle over there, porque tenemos over there. So over there is como la de allá. Over there is empty. Bricks over there. Eso está bien fácil. What do you have? That. That. Those bricks over there are for your chimney. Okay. Y la última, join. Okay. This. This folder. Okay. And put it on the desk over there. Okay, guys. Excellent. Very good job with this. You're ready. You're rocket. So we are going to continue. Eh, vamos a seguir practicando esta parte. We'll continue practicing this tomorrow, right? Eh, para que hablemos un poquito because ahora fue más eh, a review with numbers and everything eh, chicos solo les tomo asistencia para poder dejarlos ir el tiempo ya se nos fue, um, ya se nos fue right? time is going so denme un momentito here y me regalen confirmación verbal Carlos Reyes Carlos creo que sí. gracias que se mejore Carlos hope you get better Ceci Gracias, mi profesor. Thank you. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Thank you. Dalila. Present. Gracias, Iván. Present. Gracias, gracias. Joel. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Jonathan. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge. Present, teacher. Nice. Juan Antonio. Okay. Great, Juan, Mr. Amaya, por ahí escucha Mr. Yes. Amaya, yes. amazing, thank you so much, Karen, thank you, I think I saw uh, Carla was here, was not here, and uh, I think I heard, okay, Sandra, oh no, yeah, Sandra, ahora. Uh, Silvia Molina. Present teacher. Gracias. And Silvia Inés. Amazing. Thank you guys. Gracias por la super buena attendance that we have. Gracias por ese compromiso. Really, really nice. And uh, guys, solamente um, agradecerles por la participación en plataforma también. Intentemos seguir avanzando para que no nos quedemos atrás, right? Gracias, guys, por la tienda. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow to practice a little bit more. Guys, have an amazing night. Que disfruten su noche. Have a good one. And see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Miss. Bye-bye.